Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated for the academic procession of the Spring 2022 Graduation Exercise of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, North Andros.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join in the singing of the national anthem. After the singing of the national anthem, please remain standing for the invocation led by Reverend Garnet Campbell. Good morning, everyone. Let me take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the New Community Baptist Church. Let us pray. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. O oh, give thanks unto our God, for he is good, and his mercies endure forever. By the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we bless your name today. Father, we honor you because of who you are. We give you glory because of who you are to us. In the name of Jesus, God, be told us in your word, ask anything in your name and you will do it for us. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we invite your Holy Spirit into this place. Father, we give you thanks and praise that your presence will make the difference in this event. Or else our coming would be but in vain. So we said, sweet Holy Spirit, heavenly dove, come now with all your quickening powers. Come and kindle a flame of sacred love in these cold hearts of ours. Father, we pray your blessing on this great institute of the Bahamas. Father, we thank you for the faculties, the staff, and the graduation class of 2022. We ask God that wisdom will be the order of the day for their lives. We give you thanks and we give you praise. We ask your forgiveness for the sins that we have done. And we give you glory because we ask it in no other name but the name that is above all, Jesus the Christ. Everyone say amen. Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. 
chairman of the BTVI Board of Directors, Mr. Elvin Taylor, and other members of the board, executive and senior managers of BTVI, BTVI's North Andrus coordinator, Mrs. Marsha McDonald, our graduation speaker, Mr. Carlton Boled, Senior Pastor of the New Community Baptist Church, Reverend Garneth Campbell. Distinguished guests, parents, family, friends, and supporters. Faculty, staff, and the BTVI Class of 2022. And I dare say the audience that is watching us live streamed on Facebook. Good morning, all. Today is a historic one on so many levels. As the newly appointed interim president of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, it is truly an honor to be attending our first graduation ceremony in picturesque. Big Yard Andros. What a major accomplishment for the Big Yard. Congratulations on your graduation. I give yourselves another round of applause. From the moment we touched down on the island to now, we have been warmly welcomed. Thank you for making us feel at home. Thank you for making us feel like family. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to begin by thanking our partner, Huntley Christie High School, formerly North Andrews High. Mr. Leroy Sumner, in his absence, who I'm, I, I understand was quite instrumental in bringing the program here as um, AVP of Academic Affairs at BTVI, all of whom helped to ensure that we achieve our mandate to bolster the skills of Androsians. We are, after all, two institutions with a primary focus, the education and upliftment of our people. Thank you, Huntley Christie High, and a special thank you to our many dedicated instructors. Without you here on the ground today would perhaps not be a reality. You play a vital role in skills training, and I am sure the class of 2022 would agree that you helped to make today possible. And to our very own Mrs. Marsha McDonald. Mrs. McDonald, I have... I've only known her for a short while, so all I'm going to say is, Mrs. McDonald, you are the glue which holds together North An the North Andrews arm of BTVI. Although you have only recently taken on the role of coordinator and you've been a part of the support team from its inception, and so we thank you. We thank you. You are an integral member of the BTVI family. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for leading our Andrus team. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2022, the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute believes in excellence. And today, I see excellence in full display here in Andros. Last year, we saw the first few Andrus graduates, but I am particularly proud of these 16 soon-to-be BTVI graduates. Notwithstanding the many challenges imposed by COVID-19, you stayed the course. You continue to balance family, work, and school. You continue to invest in yourselves and your future, in your family's future. You lobbied and you lobbied hard for an in-person graduation. And you got it. Yeah. 
You are so deserving of this day. Give yourselves, give Mrs. McDonald and the entire BTVI team a rousing round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, I envision that what is happening here today will eventually happen on other islands across the archipelago. Truly, BTVI has a national mandate to train, to upskill tradesmen and tradeswomen. But I implore you, the class of 2022, to be aware that you're not just competing with the person sitting next to you or with the best on the island. You're not even competing with the best in the country. You must be ready to compete with the best in the world. And after all, at BTVI, we have prepared you to do just that, to be globally competitive and economically independent. We live in a world without borders. Do not box yourselves in. Class of 2022, BTVI is indeed an important gateway towards providing skilled labor to match market demands. We are the on-the-ground facilitators working towards a broader national vision. We take our responsibility for workforce skills development seriously. And at the very core of the technical and vocational sectors are people like you, like Justin Azard from San Andreas, like Theora Evans from Nicholstown, like Sharona Woodside Bar from Lausanne. Finally, class of 2022, today you become a part of a skilled workforce, supporting economic growth and a better quality of life for people here in Andros and beyond. The skills all 16 of you have acquired are very much needed. Office administration, office assistant, carpentry, electrical installation. There's a demand for crafts, craft persons and technicians. Your island needs you. Your country needs you. You are the bedrock of the labor force. And the reality is some of you will become employees while others will go on to become entrepreneurs. We wish you well whichever path you trod. Once again, class of 2022, congratulations. You are the ones who will play an integral role in solving the challenges and issues within your respective disciplines and communities. We have prepared you. Go forth and execute your craft. We know you will do well. Be Andros proud. Be Bahamas proud. Be BTVI proud. Thank you. Mr. Elvin Taylor, Chairman of the BTVI Board of Directors and other members of the board. Interim President Dr. Linda Davis and other senior BTVI executives, administrators, faculty, and staff of BTVI. Special guests, distinguished leaders, and distinguished ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, class of 2022. This morning's graduation speaker, Mr. Carlton G. Boag, is a well-known politician, community builder, and businessman. A firm believer in quality customer service, he is qualified in various disciplines, including the Bahamas Host Program, which is recognized for his stellar graduates trained in customer service, most notably tourism. A strong advocate for education, Mr. Bullock has always promoted its importance while giving back to the sector. The children of his community have especially benefited from his philanthropy. For more than two decades, 
through the provision of educational tools and resources. Mr. Boleg attended the Master Point All A School and North Andrus High School, now Huntley Christie High School, after which he enrolled at the Prospect Hall School of Business in Hollywood, Florida, where he obtained an associate degree in computer programming and accounting. In 1996, Mr. Bullock returned to the Bahamas and was employed in the public service as a customs, as a customs office officer in several family islands, beginning at Fresh Creek, San Andros, followed by Nassau, New Providence, and ending in Bimini. He remained in the public service for 20 years and has been recognized for his professionalism and hard work on the front line. A call by his community to offer himself in frontline politics led Mr. Bolek to the political arena where he followed his passion and in 2017 became the member of parliament for the North Andros and Berry Island constituency under the Free National Movement. Mr. Bolek served in the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources as parliamentary secretary with responsibility for the Bahamas Agricultural and Marine Science Institute, BAMSI, from 2017 to 2021. He is currently a Justice of the Peace and owner of Pure Light Gas. He is married to Cara Boleg and the father of five children, four girls and one boy, whom they love dearly. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our speaker, Mr. Carlton G. Boleg. May be seated. Thank you very much. We stand on the protocol already established, but it will be remiss of me if I don't recognize a young man that pushed me in the direction and where I am today, where we stand today, Mr. Leroy Sumner. Thank you very much. After speaking to a few of my Androsian friends in the corner there, he told me he got the South covered if I got the North covered. So Andres is in good hands. Again, as I walk this way into the church, I recognize Miss Summerfield Rowe, one of the directors here and one of the uh, influential people in my life also as a teacher who spent many years pushing and bringing forth successful students out of North Andrews High School and Hunt, uh, now the Hunter Christie High School. And our coordinator here, Ms. Marsha Malone McDonald, another one of my former teachers who taught me computer science. And I know if you had her as an instructor, you were, you would know when I say, boy, I know you're all happy she is, she is out of that one with you now, right? But today I am honored to be here in the midst of history in North Andros. As a former student of the North Andros High School, now the Huntley Christie High School, I was molded by hard working in educators and experiences that carry me to this very moment in time. I recall my days as a student in the year 1991. In particular, it was during this year the Ministry of Education introduced the requirement 
of earning a GPA 2.0 or higher in order to graduate. I would love to stand here this morning and tell you that I was a 4.0 student. And that I was the best student to ever walk the campus of North Andrews High School. But I'm unable to do that. In my senior year prior to graduating, I made a whopping 2.1. Yeah, I know you're saying it's low, right? But when it's coming in on stream, and I was the first set, we were the first set that that was introduced to, it was rather strange. I was, however, not the only one that was slightly challenged by the criteria set in place by the Ministry of Education back then. There were other students in lower levels that didn't pass and were unable to graduate. Never once, however, did I believe those students to be failures. Instead, I questioned what could have been done to bring out their natural capabilities and strengths. There is no doubt that our students must be aware of how to read, how to write, how to do mathematics, English, and the like. But, there's always a but, but it is also important, what is also important is the need for us to bring out the best in those whose passion may not be academics, but instead may be vocation and trade. I truly believe that it is critical for us to watch students from a young age and if they are noticeably challenged with academics and seamlessly incapable of making the GPA, alternative education can become an option. Graduates, the world as we know it is incapable of existing without only one set of professionals. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, politicians are not the world. And they certainly aren't able to carry, carry it by itself. With this personal view, the thought of me, of the thought came to me, why don't we bring BTVI into the high school and prep students who are failing academically. I've come to know that these same students may not be textbook smart, but they are more than capable of doing them, of using their minds and hands to ensure their success and meet the demands of society. Graduates, our communities and world will always need plumbers, will always need office managers, electricians, mechanics, beauty professionals, and the list goes on. We must, we must reach a point where we push persons to follow passion and purpose more than we push them to fit into a box. Posi positioning for the now, prepared for the future. After serving my country for 20 years as a customs officer, I wanted to come back home and give back. I believe in my people to help themselves will result in our children dreaming bigger than we ever can imagine. 
When parents are empowered, their children achieve more. Positioning for the now, prepared for the future. Today, after being an advocate for this great, and notice I say great, this great institution, where we have the board of directors in North Andres. We are graduating the first set of students. Graduates, you are indeed positioned for the now and prepared for the future. I can only imagine how hard you pushed. You were pushed by Mr. Gay. <laughs> okay. I saw that on some people's status there. Not to mention Ms. Mac McDonald, who never gives up or gives you a break. It's safe to say that greatness does not come without dedication and great sacrifice. North Andres is blessed to have BTVI. which I personally believe will undoubtedly continue to push stellar students who will become major contributors to the growth and development of our communities. I will end as I began. I graduated with a 2.1, just 0.1, over the requirement back then. But that didn't stop me. No, it did not. While in the eyes of others, 2.1 may seem low. Here is my reality and the reality of many others. It's not the end of the, world, of the road. I pushed and followed my passion. I am now a degree holder. In computer programming and accounting. I'm also a general contractor. I leave that one out because I didn't want you all to know that, but. I can do a little of plumbing, electrician, I can do all of them. But let me give you a little example of that. If you are a contractor, I'm a general contractor. My job is to build. I don't have time to do finished work. I don't have time to do plumbing. I don't have time to do AC installation. I don't have time to do any of those things. Masonry, none of those stuff. My job is to get the work done. What I do in return is subcontract sub it out. That's where you come in. That's where you realize then that I could be academically inclined, but you can have the skills and trade to bring it forth. I'm also an entrepreneur. I have my own business. I'm the owner of Pure Light Gas. I'm also, also, in 2017 to 2021, I rise to the occasion that was only history for me and many others as the member of parliament for North Andres in the Berry Islands constituency. You imagine that. 2.1 student. I realize that the road to success is not the road that our lady here would have taken. Not my road. I was one that got beaten to stay in school. 
Everyone know my past. My father was a strict man. But I did what he wanted to do, wanted me to do. And then I switch and find what my passion was, was, which was construction. If you ask me if I did a computer program, I did it when I was in school and that was it. Because that was not me. I love accounting, so I spent 20 years doing that. But today, you kids, I want you to watch this now as you are entering the 10th grade. Don't never feel as though you're going to fail. There are options. And to me, I think the only way is up, up, up for BTVI. <laughs> BTVI class graduation of 2022. I stand here proud, very proud of each and every one of you. The work that you have done to get here. I congratulations. Because you never gave up. You fought through adversity. A pandemic. And other challenges. But you made it. Today. You are. Positioned. For now. And definitely prepared. For the future. May God bless you. May God bless you, Board of Directors, also for being here to make this historic moment memorable for most of us. And I am praying to God that in the future this will be bigger than ever. And that more people would realize what their passions are, what your goal may be. It may not be what your parents want it to be. It's nothing wrong with you doing whatever you do as long as you do it the best that you can do. And may God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, North Andros Campus, presents Mr. Carlton Boleg for serving as guest speaker for the 2022 commencement exercise, 30th of June, Thomas Technical and Vocational Institute recognizes excellence by rewarding students who meet the specific GPA requirements for the President and Honors List. To graduate on the President List, students must achieve a minimum cumulative GPA of 375 to 4.0 and meet all requirements credit hour. Will Miss Juliet V. Gator, North Andrews student graduating on the President's List, please stand and remain standing. <laughs> to graduate with honors, students must achieve a minimum accumulative GPA of 3.50 to 374 and meet all program credit hour requirements. Honors list recipients are indicated by a gold cord worn over the academic regalia. Will Ms. Carla Dion Munnings Ms. Florina Pratt Russell and Ms. Natasha Scott Who are all graduating with honors, stand and remain standing. Program awards are given to the graduating students with a minimum 
cumulative GPA of a three point and highest GPA over three point in a major. This year, we are giving awards to students completing an office administration associate's degree and a carpentry certificate. Ms. Juliet V. Gator is already standing. She is receiving the Office Administration Associate's Degree Award. <laughs> Mr. William Whitney Miller, who is receiving. <laughs> the Carpentry Certificate Award. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you, students. You may be seated. On behalf of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute Board of Directors, and acting under the power of the board as stipulated in the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute Act 2010. I hereby authorize you, Interim President Dr. Linda A. Davis, to confer the appropriate degrees and certificates upon candidates as approved by the trade, trade divisions. With all the candidates for certificates in construction and mechanical trades, please stand and remain standing. Dr. Davis, I have the honor of presenting the construction and mechanical trades candidates for certificates. By the virtue of the authority vested in me, by the Board of Directors and in recognition of your attainments in completing the program of study prescribed by the Institute, I confer upon each of you the certificate with all the rights, duties, immunities, privileges, and responsibilities there unto appertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. Please be seated. Will all the candidates for certificates in business studies and entrepreneurship, your ship, please stand and remain standing. <laughs> Dr. Davis, I have the esteemed honor of presenting the business studies and entrepreneurship candidates for certificates. To authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and in recognition of your attainments in completing the program of study prescribed by the Institute, I confer upon each of you the certificate with all the rights, duties, immunities, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. Well, all of the candidates for the degree of Associates of Applied Science and Business Studies, please stand and remain standing. <laughs> Dr. Davis, I have the proud honor of presenting the business studies and entrepreneurship candidates for the degree of Associates of Applied Science. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the program of study prescribed by the Institute, 
I confer upon each of you the degree of Associate of Applied Science with all the rights, duties, immunities, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated. Will all of the graduates of the spring 2022 graduating class of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, North Andrews, please stand and remain standing. You may now turn the tassel to the left. Please be seated. This is a good feeling. This is it. This is a historic moment. So as I present our graduates, could you please bring the church down? It is my pleasure to present the graduates from the Business Studies Department. Please rise, certificate students. Catherine Wallace. <laughs> Sir Dominic Ramming. Anishka Bain. <laughs> Lavonia Cobra. Associate's degree students, please rise and come forward. <laughs> Juliet Gator. Juliet Gator is always is also getting an award. Jessica Storr. <laughs> Sharona Woodside Ball. Laura Evans, Pickstock Neely <laughs> Carla Munnings <laughs> 
Anicia Pettigan. <laughs> Natasha Scott. And so, Dr. Davis, the program says I must take my seat, but I just want to say I am proud of business studies. And at BTVI, we welcome one point average, two point average, three point average, and four point average students. It is my pleasure to present the graduates from the construction and mechanical trades. Mr. Whitney Miller, Carpentry. <laughs> Mr. Justin Azar, Carpentry. <laughs> Mr. Anthony Woodside, Electrical Installation. Juliet Gator, can you please proceed to the stand? Ms. Juliet Gator gets the award for the Office Administration Associate's Degree Program. I'm proud of you. It is my pleasure to invite Ms. Juliet V. Gator once again, Associate of Applied Science Office Administration, to deliver reflections on behalf of the North Andres class, Spring 2022. We advance on a journey only when we face our goal, when we are confident, and when we believe we are going to succeed. Orison Sweat Martin. Esteemed graduates, in fall 2018, we embarked on a journey uncertain of what the end will be. We have encountered many challenges along the way. But we were determined, we remained focused, and we stayed the course. And here we are today as the graduating class of 2022. Ms. Elvin Taylor, Chairman of the BTVI Board of Directors and other members of the board, Interim President, Dr. Linda Davis and other senior BTVI executives, administrators, faculty and staff of BTVI, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, class of 2022. It is my honor to take you down memory lane 
as we reminisce over the past four years together. First, however, I would like to acknowledge our awesome support system to our parents, spouses, family, and friends. We thank you for your love and support. In 2020, the world came to a halt due to the unprecedented coronavirus COVID-19. As COVID-19 made, made its presence on our Bahama shores, the country was forced into a complete lockdown. Recognizing the potential impact of COVID-19, BTVI quickly reverted to a virtual learning platform, allowing us to continue our classes from the comfort of our homes. Because of this, many of us weathered unique storms that, that were made easier via virtual learning. Let me share with you some of the day-to-day -day challenges we encountered and some memorable moments that we will never forget. Did I hear someone say the internet is down? Oh, I cannot get on Zoom. BPL, don't do it. Right in the middle of exams, boom, internet disruptions. Or even worse, the power goes off. Can you imagine the frustration and anxiety? I remembered sitting my final exam for computerized accounting with one of my favorite lecturers, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Minutes into the exam, I experienced an internet disruption. I ran outside trying to figure out what to do. And guess what? None of my neighbors was home to allow me to use their internet. Many minutes later, the internet service was restored. But I had another problem. I could not get into Zoom. The host would not let me in. So I emailed Mr. Taylor. I sent him messages on the VLE crying for help, but nothing happened. So I decided to see if I could get back into the exam, and I did. With a few minutes remaining, I was able to complete my exam. God be praised. My classmates have summarized their experience, experiences in such magnificent ways. Classmate Catherine Wallace loves the fact that we were able to meet students from across the Bahamas. Classmate Sergeant Anthony Woodside describes BTVI as an awesome experience that he will cherish forever. Classmate Jessica Store Meyer cherishes a few special lecturers who helped her as she dealt with much grief and loss. loss. Lecturers who showed her true compassion and humanity. Classmate Sharuna Barr, she used her challenges to push her and to motivate her. Classmate Lenicia Pelican sums up our experience into one beautiful word, empowering. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of this great class, class, we express our gratitude to our amazing lecturers, especially those from the Andros campus. Thank you for pushing us to be our best 
and believing in us. Miss McDonald, we could never thank you enough for all that you have done for us. Like the eagle, you took us under your wings right from the inception of the Andros program and you stood with us even to the end. We express our gratitude to all of our lecturers, virtually and face to face. We had the most awesome lecturers ever. We will never forget Mr. Pratt, the super energetic lecturer. One of the students used to say, oh God, he has too much energy for me. I can't take it. But many of us loved his energy and his personality. Graduates, where's the party at? Every week, there was a party going on in Mr. Duncombe's entrepreneurship class. And we will always remember Ms. Hart and her punchline, awesome stuff, yes, awesome stuff. <laughs> Fellow graduates, we have only just begun. Embrace each moment. Grab every opportunity. I leave these words with you. When you are deciding on your next steps or your next jobs, next careers, or further education, you should rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. These are the words spoken by the late Chadwick Bosman, the Black Panther star. Finally, as a precaution, graduates, please remember to mute your mics when you are helping the kids with their homework or when you are talking other people's business. And please mute your mics before falling asleep and snoring out loud. Congratulations, class of 2022. We did it. Standing on the protocol already been established, I would just like to say good afternoon to everyone. Members of the Spring 2020 graduating class, it is with great pleasure that I induct each of you into the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Alumni Association. On behalf of the graduates of this great institution and on behalf of the president and the executive board of the Alumni Association, I wish you the very best. Graduating class of 2022, please stand. On behalf of the president of the Alumni Association, I am pleased to induct you into the membership of the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute Alumni Association with all of the rights and privileges thereof. You may now join those who have gone before you and call the Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute alma mater.
congratulations, class of 2022. We have come to the end of this commencement exercise. Reverend Campbell will now come to deliver the benediction, bringing the ceremony to a close. Please remain standing after the benediction and allow BTVI board members and administrators, faculty and graduates to exit. Thank you. Please stand. A keynote speaker talked about his beginning. I wouldn't tell you how old I am, but I was one of the first enrollees at the North Andrews High School with the first principal, the senior reader, Strong. I tell you, you can do anything if you only put your mind to it. Let us bow our heads. Our God and our Father, we praise you. We bless you. We honor you for what has taken place here today. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our hearts have felt. We thank you, God, for this new beginning. We pray, God, as we leave this place, that the graduate would use their talent and not hide it, but use it for your honor and for your glory. And now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we give you thanks, and we pray your blessing on this entire institution. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord bless you and give you his peace. Go in peace and may the peace of God that pass it all understanding henceforth now and forevermore. Be blessed, everyone.